hurt you for God's will for me. Hello and welcome to the podcast. We are beginning our second group of video podcasts. I'm so excited about how we're progressing and and I really do want to thank you for all the kind texts and emails that we're receiving. Uh, it really is a source of encouragement and I I need it. <laughs> I like it uh, because uh, really it's very different than pastoring where you're directly speaking to people and people wait to speak with you after the message or at the door. And uh, I always loved greeting the people at the door and welcoming them. So I do miss that element of it. But this is reaching really around the globe and many people. And, you know, we're, we're approaching almost 20,000 listens as you put together the Apple podcast sound cloud and now um, the video YouTube podcast. So with that, let's begin our new series, our 10 week series. And we're going to talk about abiding, abiding with Christ. And, and what does this word mean? And we're going to take a really a Bible study over the next um, 10 weeks from John chapter 15. And we're going to look at the different scriptures and the fruit or, or the result of abiding. And the way I see this abiding is number one, the first thing you want to do when you're trying to understand what does it mean to be abiding in the vine? That means like to be uh, really attached to, to the vine. You know, he's the vine, we're the branches, it says. And so what happens is, is that the nourishment comes from the vine through the branches. And it, it's a process of development over time and eventually fruit come. So we'll be looking at all that. But the first thing we need to do is secure your position of abiding in the vine. And uh, there's a whole passage that Paul talks about being grafted into the vine, and that is in Romans uh, 9 and 10, 11. And I was uh, listening to this program about how does one graft something into another uh tree? Like, how do they graft it? And they were saying that they actually cut it into a V and they put the good uh, vine into the other vine and then they tape it real tight. And the question was, how does it grow together? Uh, and they said they don't know how. And I thought that was the most fascinating answer because we don't know how we, we are abiding in Christ, how that we're grafted in, if you will, in, into Christ. We, we talked last 10 weeks about being in Christ. And now this is the fruit of being in Christ and abiding or growing with God or living with God. So I want to make sure your position is secured in Christ, first of all. And we have to look at Romans uh, chapter number uh, 10 and verses 9 and 10. If you confess uh, with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So this idea of becoming righteous. So you have to be a, a, a grafted into the righteous seed. You've got to be removed. You're not part of the Adam's family anymore. You're part of the family of God. You're part of Christ and you are grafted in and you must believe though it's by faith. We don't know how. I'm a registered nurse and I worked with burn patients a lot when I was in rehab, physical rehab, and they would have to uh, graft skin. I understand that a little better than grafting fruit trees together. <laughs> but they would take the, the, the good skin, and maybe they'd even have to have a donor. Sometimes they would try to get it from the patient themselves, and they would graft it in or you know, lay it in. And they didn't know how, really, if you asked them, how does that skin grow into the other skin? But one time um, I, we had um, an African-American uh, patient uh, and all that they could get was like a, a Caucasian patient's skin. And it was really strange. It was not an invisible part, but where they put the, the white skin on top of the black skin <laughs> into it, and it grew together. And he had a patch of Caucasian <laughs> in his body. But maybe that's how it is with us in Christ. You know, we really were like what they call the wild plant. <laughs> They're not that black and white or wild or whatever. I don't want to get into that. But but we were definitely not the righteous seed. And we, you know, we weren't even Jews, but we were grafted in by this idea of faith. We boast of the law of faith. And I want you to know this is the most amazing thing that can ever happen to you. You are born from above. It comes out and, and then you are grafted in. And this life, this precious seed that produces beautiful fruit, because they only graft in a good tree when they're grafting 
thing into another tree. They don't, that other tree doesn't produce good fruit. It's the new plant that they want to get the maximum fruit. And so when Christ is grafted into us and we are born of the Spirit, it's because we believe by faith we're made righteous or justified. And so you have to know that part. You have to ask yourself, do you believe that Jesus is Lord, that God raised him from the dead? It's, it's very conditional on your faith. And I want to lead you in a prayer to make sure that you know that you're grafted in and you're abiding in the vine. You're going to be living in the vine and you're going to grow and, and the vine is going to produce its life through you. You're a branch on the vine and you will produce fruit. And it's amazing. You, you don't want to miss a program over these next 10 weeks. So Father, say repeat after me. Say, Father, I believe Jesus is Lord and I, I am sorry for my sin and I ask Jesus, come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I believe God raised you from the dead and I ask you now to be my Lord. I want to be part of the family of God. I want to abide in the vine. I want to be married to Christ. You see, when two people are married, they live together. They abide together. And that's what it's all about. When you, you have uninterrupted uninterrupted life. You, you walk with God. You walk with Jesus. And I want you to know that this is really what abiding is. Living with God, living in Christ, walking with God. What a wonderful existence. And it's all because you believe, because of what Jesus did for you, so that you could live in Christ and secure your position in Him, really for all eternity. Amen? Well, I want to thank you for tuning into the program. I, I, I really do want you to listen every week. Again, please send us a word. And um, I encourage you to go to the new website, frankjulianministries.com. It's exciting. We're updating it. The books are available, the movie. And of course, you can write me. And I'm excited about, um, I've got a speaking engagement in uh, Redford, in um, Redford, Michigan in November. And uh, some tentative speaking engagements in Florida when we're there in January. So thank you so much and God bless you. Pray for Peggy and I and we'll be praying for you and have a wonderful week. Don't forget to tune in next week. Go to YouTube, go to the SoundCloud. It's so exciting. God bless you for now. Have a wonderful week.